we got the 2015 cruise here once again a little history on this first we got the cruise kit 3.4 on here and we also replaced the valve cover because the valve cover was causing excess vacuum in the crankcase after doing the cruise kit system um, so we got now we have proper pressures in the crankcase we have no coolant leaks we have good compression um, and we still have fuel trim issues, long-term fuel trim, 30%. That means we got unmetered air coming to the engine. Uh, when I'm cruising, the fuel trims go down to five, like within 5%. So cruising, everything's just fine. It's just, just at idle, uh, whether in drive or in park, uh, these fuel trims go crazy. So. Just uh, checked a couple things, um, pulled open the uh, air filter box, and we have an oiled filter in here. So these will wreak havoc with the mass airflow sensor. So I, I suspect that the, uh, the mass airflow sensor is oil coated, possibly, or failed for some other reason. So we're going to check if the mass airflow sensor is the problem. Now we don't do that by just replacing it. So here's what you do. Pull the red tab back and then unplug it. All the engine's running. Let's take a look at the fuel trims. So you see the short term is at minus 24. So the engine is suddenly trying to correct the fuel trims. So you're gonna see the long-term fuel trim slowly decreasing because the short term is negative. It's already down to 20, 22, 21. All right, we'll come back and check on that in a minute. So it, it, the fan gets turned on. That's normal because disconnecting this is going to throw some codes in the ECM. It's going to max out the fan. So you can ignore that. We got to clear the codes after resolving all this. Anyways, here we're down to 15%, 14%. So we definitely have a mass airflow sensor issue. Now if you do this, and after time the engine starts running worse and worse and worse, then the mass airflow sensor probably wasn't the issue. If you're looking at like a MAP sensor, MAP, the pressure sensor, or something else. But this is, this is definitely, the engine's running great right now. It's running smooth. coughing or anything it's uh they just feel it feel the vibrations you'll start to feel misfires if there was an issue the engine will start idling irregularly i should have put the rpms on here that would also help you can see the oxygen sensor is oscillating real well now. It's going almost to zero. It's going up above 0.8. Just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's what we want to see. Fuel trims are still correcting. Short term is always negative, so that means it still hasn't settled yet. Once the fuel trims have settled, the short term should be bouncing positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. That's, that's how you know that the correction's done. So I'm gonna order a new mass airflow sensor, pop it in, and, and we'll see where we're at.